Okay. Good evening, Dr. Ivan and Pei, if she's watching as well. Welcome to my P5 submission video. Today we're going to be looking at the code which I have written for the P5 labs. So basically, P5 is similar to P2. We're making an adder and subtractor for uh, using half adders and full adders. But this time, for P5, we're going to be using the inheritance method. Okay. So firstly, we have the AND gate class, which has the protected data here, which can be fed to the child class. The constructor here, which is basically the function to create an AND gate. And the deconstructor here, which will deallocate the memory that has been located before and also delete the previous AND gate that has been constructed. Okay, moving on to the XOR gate, which is basically the same uh, shape and form as the end gate. We have the protected data here which can be fed to the child class or can be read by the parent class. We have the constructor here which allocates the memory and also creates the XOR gate which can which will be used later. And also the uh, deconstructor which will deallocate the memory that has been set by the constructor which has been allocated by the constructor. Okay and then moving on to the OR gate class which is basically the same thing. We have the protected class for the parent and child classes. We have the uh, we have the constructors which will create the OR gates and also allocate memory and also the deconstructors which will deallocate the memory that has been allocated by the constructors. Okay, moving on to the half adder class. We have the half adder class which takes data from the AND gate class and the XOR gate class. So here we have the protected data which can be fed later to another chart class. Here we have the constructor and function for the half adders, getting the sum and the C out. And then we have the deconstructors which will deallocate the memory and also delete the half adder previously. And then moving on to the full adder, which takes data from the half adder and the or gate class. Here we have the constructor and also the function for the full adder which uh, does the things a full adder should and then the deconstructor which will deallocate the memory and also delete the full adder that has been created by the constructor. Okay moving on to the end bit class. The end bit class we use the vector method to set the value, the binary values as 8 bits. So basically, if we input a value which uh, we input a binary number which is not 8 bits, this function will automatically make it into an 8 bit value. So here it will uh, create the 8 bit values for the adders and sub for the full adders and half adders. And then here for the deconstructor here, we set it so that if the values after addition is cannot be expressed using 8 bits, it will see out positive overflow. And if it's a negative value that cannot be expressed in 8 bits, it will be in negative overflow. So yeah, that's it for the main, for the classes. We go on to the main functions here. We call out the, we call out so that the user can input a binary number. And then another input for another binary number. And then we run the functions above, uh, denoted in the class above, and we get the addition answer and the subtraction answer simultaneously. So here I will show it to you. So basically if I input 1111 since, and then let's say 1111 again. Okay, since we use the end bit class, it automatically assigns the 4 bits into an 8 bit value and then for the addition it will pump out this value and for subtraction it will pump out this value which is correct and then let's say to test out the positive overflow we set it to a value like this 8 bits of ones and then an 8 bits of ones for the second one the addition will be Oops, okay, never mind. A bit of an error there. 
Okay, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Okay, so now it shows positive overflow and the subtraction is as should be. The same thing for negative overflow. Let's see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then it will be negative overflow and the addition answer will be as follows, which is correct. Um, so yeah, that's it for my B5 submission. Thank you.